proposal doesn't need to be this lengthy document that so many people create. Word page after word page, ah, enough of it. At the end of the day, we focus on the six slide proposal. What are the client's goals? Where are they right now? How will you help them get a little bit closer? Why is that timeline so important to them? And what will they invest and get that return on investment? Let's break it down to simplicity. And you can watch our participants as they go through this process and realize the clarity they feel when they understand how to take a client on that entire journey. We were working on the proposal piece the last class and we've had a, a few proposals going out over the last few weeks and had some great success. Um, some of the things that we've been focusing on, which we learned from, from you, was to make sure that we're getting all the details, yeah. that we're going in first time and we're answering the questions that they're asking and maybe some other things as well. Yeah. The key is that we don't want to go back and ask more questions. We want to be, uh, we want to look professional and that we've done our homework and that when you come to Land Solutions, you're getting a very uh, complete solution. So yeah. absolutely, there's been uh, a lot of great uh, discussion with our team and, and thoughts around how we can improve our process based on those uh, concepts. So yeah. it's been really, really strong for us. Yeah. So we're about to head to a meeting with Kim. We're going to be talking about proposals. We have a million questions to ask her. Uh, she's been incredibly helpful in the whole process. Uh, we've learned a lot from her and we're ready to get some more answers. Let's go. <laughs> Look how far you guys have come. Yeah. Okay, like seriously, like in 10 weeks, right? I mean, when, when we sat down, even a little bit longer than 10 weeks ago, right, it was, Amazing to see that, you know, how, how much confidence you guys have built over what the clients you wanted to connect with, who you wanted to connect with. Uh, and I mean, the conversations that we've had about everything from this is how we're planning for our meeting, like just the preparation alone, I think is, is huge. Because from a client's perspective, it just says you care about everything. You're not here to just to pitch a product or service mm -hmm. and that you truly care. If everybody entered with the same level of passion and commitment that you guys did, I mean, this is what I want to create in the world, right? Is that it is something to be embraced and it is about connections with the customer. We're all going to cry. <laughs> when somebody says like, you literally changed my business, right? Which is what you guys are doing. Right, and and you, you always have been, but now by inviting that conversation before somebody signs with you, it's it, they get it, they get what they're walking into, and they're more willing to stand on the mountaintops and sing your praises because they know what they're entering into, and I mean that's that's huge, right? And that's everything, so. Yay. Thank you. Yay. <laughs> I want to give you the hat. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Really looking forward to this. I get my shot to debrief with Kim and chat about what I was like as a student, where she sees uh, I can improve, what I was good at, what I was bad at, and uh, give me a bit of a, a push out into the world um, moving on from her course. So uh, wish me luck and I'll see you on the other side. When you decided that you were gonna focus on the enterprise accounts, right? I was glad that you chose that because that is where you deserve to be. Uh, your experience level and the, converse, the level of conversations you can have, it brings a certain level of humbleness mm. to a lot of these corporate. And it's not just the, the service that you're providing, but the who you are. Right, that you're, you, that's why they're choosing to work with you. Uh, I, I know that you know going forward, and the one thing that I, especially in your proposals, that I, I know that you can bring is much more of a personality, right, than everyone else. Yeah, our business allows us to do that. Yeah, yeah the, the business that we're in. And we should, yeah, I mean, we should invite that. We should yeah. embrace that yeah. because it is, you know, I like I, I've told the other groups like invite humor and everything. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can invite humor but you have such a, an opportunity to invite those 
those specific stories yeah. all the way through. And I mean, they have the saying like, when they're crying, they're buying. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But literally, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the business got more focused. We're right now looking at changing our website to strip out a lot of the fluff and getting really focused. Um, we reduced our staff that yeah. wasn't focused on uh, enterprise. It's just so much has come out of it and uh, I'd have to say that you're a big part of that so thank you. Yeah. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. The client proposal does not need to be a one-sided presentation. You're allowed to invite more collaboration throughout this process. By changing your questions away from, does this make sense, do you agree, into how will this continue to impact you, when do you want to see the results of this service being applied to your business, the client is continuously buying into the reasons why they are choosing you as their service provider. I'm Kim Orleski and I'm ready for you to become our next sales knockout. Come check us out online and on our website.